In today's video, I am going to show you how to easily add interactive buttons to your product pages that allow your customers to switch between different color options with just a click. So whether you are selling clothing, accessories or any customizable products, this guide will show you exactly how to add it to your site and customize it according to your products. We'll just use Elementor and some simple codes for it. Don't worry, all you need to do is copy and paste the code from the description below and it should work without issues. Okay, so I've got this product page ready, but now I want to add color variations to the products here and change it using a button. To do that, we need to add a button widget here and add an icon to it. So let's drag a button here and click here and select an icon. I'll remove the text here. So we just have the icon. Now let's add some style to the icon. First, I'm going to change the color and set it to this. Let's duplicate this button a few more times and change the color. Once done, it should look something like this. So we've got our buttons ready. We just need to change the images when someone clicks the buttons. So to do that, just duplicate this image widget twice as we have three buttons in total and change the images for all the variations like this. Now to make the effect work, we're going to use some CSS. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So select the first image, go to his advanced tab and scroll down to CSS class area. We need to add a CSS class here so that it is linked to the code we'll add later. So I'll set the CSS class to this and I'll do the same for other images as well. The images also need a CSS ID. So let's add them one by one. I'll call the first one this, the second one this and the third one this. Now to make the image change work, we need to connect these buttons to the product images. So click on this button and go to the attributes tab. In the custom attributes section, we have to add a code. So go to the description, copy the code and paste it here. Then go to the second button, select that one tab and go under the attributes. Instead of this, I'll change it to this. I'll repeat the same process for the third button and then click on update here. Okay, now we just need to add the CSS code and everything should be functional. Select this container, go to advanced tab and click on the custom CSS button. Copy and paste the code here. Finally, we just have to add an HTML code for the effect to work. So I'll drag the HTML widget and drop it here. Then copy the HTML code from the description below and paste it here. Let's update and preview the page. And yeah, when I click on this button, a new color variation appears like this. You can click here to change it again. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.